What's up guys, welcome back to another Boom Beach video. Today we're going to be doing Heavy Zooka Medic and we're going to try and uh, clear the player bases off my map. Yesterday I did Smoky Heavies and today I'm going to take it a little bit easier and we're just going to do Classic Hookah Medic because I, I don't know, I the the heavy speed um zookas are unaffected by the tribes but also the medic healing i did boost up so we're just gonna see um how noticeable it is of a difference compared to usual which i don't know if i can identify because i haven't used uh heavy zooka medic in the longest time so it might be a little bit hard but this first base seems very easy because he had his hq kind of like cornered over here so those zookas are going to be able to do a lot of damage to it so we're just spamming barrages and artillery they should be able to take it out here in like two seconds but um actually a lot of our troops died on the right uh i probably should have just flared but that's okay base one is taken out Hopefully next one is more of a mainstream base, a little bit normal base, so that I can kind of see because, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll, I'll have flashbacks to when I used to do this quite a bit, but, you know. Um, I never uh, thought, uh, I, I never thought uh, hookah medic as like a strategy that I used to use a lot. I mean, <clears throat> I used it a lot, like low level, just heavy zooka and all that, but like i don't know i was more of a warriors guy and a tank medic guy once i did get higher level but we'll kind of see we'll kind of see maybe this will switch my views if we're destroying some players today but anyway getting into this first part looks like a lot of our heavies are dying they're just too fast and they they just get into the action a little bit too quickly so maybe maybe this heavy speed is a little bit of a uh uh just hurts more than it gains on this strategy i don't know all of our heavies are like dead so this is uh this isn't going too well if i don't say so um but we're gonna throw a shock here now we have a few zookas left but i don't think we're gonna be able to take this out which is quite unfortunate because i don't know but yeah i if i can if i can refine that base I'm not going to try and attack it again, but I, it's just weird because the heavies were just in the action way too fast and nothing could, uh, nothing could really stop them. So I think that's, that's kind of a, that's kind of a, um, obstacle for this heavy speed. Oh man. But anyway, we're going to hop into the next attack here. Did I boost up? I don't even think I boosted up. Maybe I should boost up because it does seem a little bit harder. But anyway, we're going to throw some shock bombs onto that shock launcher, rocket launcher, and all that. And then we are going to pop battle orders. But our heavies seem to be dying pretty quickly. So I think we need to boost up at least troop health and at least troop damage. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think I think smoky heavies would be doing better than this. Um, I, would, I was thinking about doing smoky hookah medic or just smoky uh, heavy zooka. Because you don't really need the medics in that. But then I was like, wait, my Zookas are very slow compared to my heavies. So that's going to be a pain um, rallying the troops. But yeah, we just lost another base. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. Yeah, we're going to go boost if I haven't already. If I did boost, I'm ashamed. But yeah, I just... Yeah. Oh, well. There we go. Get those, uh, get those statues boosted. Let's go back in. Let's show this guy who's boss. And... It'll probably be him, but at least we have troop health and troop damage boosted now. The saviors of this attack strategy. But yeah, we're going to throw down a shock bomb. And then we are going to pop a battle orders because the tail end of my troops were getting hit with that rocket launcher. And we did not like that. So we just decided to battle orders, try and get them out of there, and kind of see what we can get going. Pop battle orders again. Kind of scout out where we can attack. Um... Or where I should shock, I should say. And I think we have a good grasp on this base. Looks like all of our heavies are dead once again. But we're going to throw shock into the shock launcher, rock launcher and such. And I think our Zookas might be able to finish this one off. Yeah, there we go. We took that out. Um, yeah, a lot of our Zookas stayed alive. None of our heavies did. So maybe I should think about swapping out a boat of heavies. Um, or swapping in a boat of heavies for one of my Zookas. Because I, I don't know. It just seems like they're dying too fast, but 
and in that attack it didn't matter because we take it we took it out too fast but you know all right so for this one this guy does not have an ice base so maybe it will be a little bit easier but anyway we're gonna we're gonna hop into this but we're gonna throw a shock onto that initial boom cannon now I actually that was probably kind of a waste but I was just trying to protect my heavies and now in the back of the base we're gonna start throwing some barrages down to try and pick off some of those buildings we'll be able to take out we took out the rocket launcher and one of the boom cannons with um, with that barrage so we had to throw the extra artillery onto the other ones so we're gonna throw a barrage and artillery onto the shock launcher now we're gonna pop battle orders looks like a lot of our heavies are dead we have all but uh four dead we have four alive i should say now that's three but we have a ton of critters so we will be able to just power through the rest of this space and i think i'm gonna bring it back home and swap in another boat of heavies for kind of security i do think it would be beneficial maybe i'm wrong but i just think my heavies in this situation i'm not too good at keeping them alive and that, that leaves exposed Zookas, so there we go. Retrain the troops, we'll hop into another player base, and hopefully it's smooth sailing from here. And honestly, I'm eyeing up a smoky strategy here, because I think he had a prototype that expired and he has not replenished. I, I, I know the look of that, because I have, a, I have that look on my base a lot, so, you know, I feel the pain, man. But anyway, there we go. Take out that shock mine now. There is a couple boom cannons at the beach there, so we are going to have to smoke them directly on the landing. And it's going to be a pain, like I said, since the heavies are naturally faster than the Zookas, it's a little bit annoying. And then since their speed is an extra 50% into the tribes, that's mega annoying. But good thing the run is not that long at all. Looks like we will lose... Uh, a paramedic so far but there we go we're gonna pop battle orders we're gonna throw that flare we're gonna get our shocks down and we should be able to take it out here shortly and our zookas died but hopefully our heavies can finish it off yeah our zookas died so fast i think i missed the flare or the the shock on where i should have and our zookas paid for that look at that we we didn't have like a single zooka like a millisecond after that smoke ran out so that's my bad that is definitely my bad but anyway i'm better with all zookas than smoky zookas so i, I don't know if that says anything that base is kind of scary we're gonna go into the we're gonna refresh it but this one this one looks super duper simple but will that shield generator mess with me I guess we'll see, but we're going to throw a couple boxes of critters, do some major mine clearing there, and we are going to throw a shock bomb onto the shock launcher and the the pair of pair of uh, machine guns or whatever. But there we go. We're going to have to reinforce the shock. Uh, actually, no, we didn't reinforce any shock. There we go. We shocked the shock launcher. Made sure to shock that hot pop because we do not want our troops dying. We're going to have to throw another shock onto it. They were not targeting it as quick as I wanted so we're gonna throw box critters onto those quarters and then we're just gonna let it be for now I don't know we're gonna pop a battle orders actually because that that'll just tear through it with the zooka damage and boom there goes the shield generator now we just got to get through the regular HQ which I think we will be able to our zookas are producing a consistent damage even though they are limited in numbers and boom we took it out not a single heavy lived. Now, I don't think I would have taken that out if I had uh, one extra Bodazookas instead of the heavy. So, I don't think I would have been able to do it. My heavies would have died way too fast. Because I suck at keeping my heavies alive. But anyway, we're going to... Ooh, no. I don't, I don't like no grapplers anywhere. Although, I probably could have got around it. That actually looks like a very good base. So, we just got it out two that I really didn't want to. Man, I gotta stop yawning. But anyway, Violent Therapy. Let's see. Sounds like an NPC name. Let's try and take him out. Oh, is that which shield generator is it? Shield Generator 3. 
He's got a huge ice statue collection. I'm gonna I'm getting very unlucky with this. I was thinking about taking it out, but um Alright. This should be enough. A level 47. Alright. No way. <laughs> that looks funny. Alright. That that's a very low level, if I don't say so. But anyway. He has a grappler. Oh no, I need to retreat. Just gonna, I'll, I'll take it this time. Um, through barrage, two t artillery on it. Did I throw two more? Yeah, we're able to take it out, which is energy here. But he has, he's committed to his defense. And uh, Sergeant Briggs leading my, my Zookas through a minefield. All right, all right. She's not the hero I thought she was. But anyway, we get we got we got those speedy critters. Okay, we're just gonna speed through this. Um, man, you are really trying on your defense. If I don't say so, that's okay. That's good. Once you get max level, sir, or ma'am, you're probably gonna be up there in medals. I mean, it seems like you're committing harder than me when it comes to that. So good for you. But anyway, yeah. Let's scout out another base and see if we feel comfortable attacking. I think we should be able to do this. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4 on the heavies. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on the rest. And now we go boom. Artillery, artillery. Hopefully it takes out the shock launcher. There we go. Got that cluster out of the way. And now we go um, boom, boom, boom. Hopefully takes out the shock blaster. These prototypes seem weak. And then we'll try and take out this shock launcher. Roger artillery. And then we'll finish it off with a nice laser beam. Which I think I wasted too much energy on it. But as we were taking out all those buildings. Looks like a lot of my heavies did die once again. And I think we can benefit from a reflare to the up hand side here. There we go, then we're going to throw a shock, we're going to throw a flare, make sure they are focused, and I think our Zooka should be able to fight it out here before those that Boom Cannon Rock Launcher does come back up, and boom, we're able to take out this base. So, I got uh, more and more comfortable when it did come into this strat, or the more I did attack with this strategy, I don't know what it was, it definitely probably had something to do with the boost I did midway through and uh, just getting familiar with how it feels again I guess I, I, I don't know but um, yeah it at first it, it was kinda hard because when I threw down my heavies they like took off on me and my Zookas were like where he go where he go but anyway see over 600 diamonds all right, but yeah, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, if you guys did enjoy this Boom Beach video, I would appreciate if you guys did drop a like. Drop a comment down below on like a strategy you do want to see um, or just a video in general. Um, and yeah, right, anyway, we'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.